Hi, this is JP from Now the Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to the final episode of the Next Evolution campaign box playthroughs. And we are up to the fifth scenario of Strife. And we are playing this with the Domino Justice pre-built deck straight out of the box. Uh, there is a lot going on in the setup here. So first off we have, of course, Hope Summers in play. So, uh, if we lose Hope Summers, we lose the game. Then, uh, we had to put the Strife's Grasp side scheme into play in the setup. So, uh, this is Permanent Hinder 6. So, it comes into play actually with 10. I forgot to add all of that thread there. So, let's correct that. Okay, so... It comes into play in a solo game with 10 threat on it. So Hope Summers can attack only Strife and can port only this scheme. Forced response after Strife is defeated or the last threat is removed from this scheme. Flip this card and reveal Living Bomb. Place any threat here on Living Bomb. Okay, then... Uh, uncontrollable, uncontrollable power. So it is the main scheme. Nine. To, uh, nine tre threshold and it has zero and an asterisk so force response after resolving step one of the villain phase each player places x threat here where x is the number of cards of the most common type in their hand each player may discard one card from their hand before calculating the value of x if this stage is completed players lose the game so, if we have three Justice cards and two uh, Signature cards, then the X is three, for example. If we have two uh, Signature cards, two Justice cards and one Basic, then it is two, etc. But uh, we are uh, calculating that quite a lot also when uh, resolving Strife's attack. So, Strife has only one scheme and zero attack but an asterisk, so while Strife is attacking you, he gets plus X attack, where X is the number of cards of the most common type in your hand. Uh, yeah, so, basically, how this scenario starts, we either need to defeat Strife, or we need to get rid of all the threat from here. We can't. Uh, get any trade off of here because of this crisis symbol here. So that is a bit of a hurdle, but we'll see how this goes in my test game. I nearly defeated Strife, but I got really lucky by getting both of my uh, Domino's pistols out and also the sharpshooter. So those dealt a ton of damage to Strife, but we might not be that lucky this time. But we'll see how this goes, so without further delay, let's get started. Okay, we are ready to begin, so let's draw our opening hand. One, two, three, four, five, so oh yeah, this is the wrong side up, so six. So team investigation, even the odds, outlaw, genius, even the odds, and big deep. Mm. I'm not feeling the even the odds at all at, he <coughs> uh, at this stage of the game, so I'm mulliganing those two. We get a good workout and Atlas Bear. Okay, well, um, first off, I will change digging deep to the card on top of my deck. Well, that didn't happen. Uh, help that much, but I'm actually thinking of um, Yeah, I'm actually thinking of trying to defeat strike. Uh, I mean strife Rather than going after the threat because my uh, thwarting is not that good yet So how do we want to do this we could play Outlaw, yeah, we'll do that. So we'll play Outlaw using Genius and Team Investigation. Then we will flip to Hero Mode. We will use Atlas Bear and Over Overwatch to play a good workout. 
so we know that this is uh, wild so we deal uh, six damage to strike let's do it like this and we get this into hand then um, outlaw will hit uh, hit for one plus another two so three damage uh, hope will hit for two damage and uh, Domino will hit for two damage. So I'm actually removing that. And so Strife has four health left after the first round. So we did a ton of damage, but we still need to finish off Strife's first phase uh, after the next round. So one will ready up. And we draw back up to 5. Okay, let's see. We have Overwatch, Luck Be a Lady, Team Investigation, Feral, and Digging Deep. How do we deal damage with this? Okay, so we need to feast. So I can put this on top of the deck. Have Luck Be a Lady for next round. Then uh, we probably want to put uh, Discard Team Investigation. Just so we have only two. Yeah, so we have two uh, justice cards and two signature cards. Then, so we'll go to the villain phase. We add zero threat, but then we get to discard one card. So we add two threat to the main scheme. Strife attacks and Domino will defend. So Strife hits for. Uh, 0 plus 2 plus 2, so 4, and we defend for 3, so we take 1 damage. The encounter card for this round is Psionic Amnesia. That's to your identity. Increase the resource cost of each ally and support you play by 2. Response after you play an ally or support. Exhaust your identity. Discard this card. Okay, well that, that uh, stops us from playing at least the Feral, and we were not planning on that the way and that is that round let's go to the next round okay so this round uh, we need to deal uh, four more damage to strife so how do we want to do it well uh, we will change the top card with overwatch then we will use Feral to play Luck Be a Lady. We reveal the top card or discard it. So it is uh, physical. So we deal 3 damage. And uh, then uh, uh, Yeah, I will use Hope Summers to defeat Strife's Phase 1. So we go to Phase 2. So now, while Strife is attacking, he gets plus 1 attack where X is the... Uh, plus X attack where X is the number of cards of the most common type in your hand. When revealed, each player discards cards from the top of the encounter deck until a psionic attachment is discarded and reveals this card. Uh, that card. Okay. Uh, not an attachment. Not an attachment. Okay, this might take a while. I know there are quite many psionic attachments here, but we are not hitting any. Okay, here's one. Mind trap. Attached to your identity, your allies, upgrades, and supports enter play exhausted. Alter ego action, exhaust three cards you control, discard this card. Okay, well, that sucks. But it is what it is. So, we'll put health to Strife, and uh, he has 17, so it 
looks like this would be a simple one, but next, uh, after Strife is defeated, or the last threat is removed from this scheme, flip this card and reveal Living Bomb, place any threat here on Living Bomb. So Living Bomb is uh, victory one, Strife cannot be defeated, so we need to get rid of this. So uh, when reveal, advance the main scheme to stage 2A, this effect cannot be cancelled. And we move up the 10th threat here, so we have 13 threats on this one. Which we need to get removed before we can win the game by defeating Strife. Also, it has a crisis symbol, so we can't ward the main scheme yet. So we advance to 2A. So nothing there, so left to your fate. Strife gains stalwart. And each identity gets plus two hand size, increase their resource cost to play each player card by one. If this stage is completed, players lose the game. So now uh, we have to get rid of all of this and defeat Strife. And that's what we need to do. Then we don't have any way to uh, get rid of these, so uh, Outlaw will hit Strife. Uh, yeah, I forgot Outlaw comes into play with toughness, so there shouldn't be a um, consequential damage icon the, uh, token there. So now we get one, and I yeah, I already put one card on top, so we get Tomino's Pistol, which is a shame, we would have wanted to draw that, but we still de deal uh, 3 damage here. And that is our turn, no other action, so we'll ready up. And now we have a plus 2 hand size, so we have 5, 6, 7, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so we have uh, right place, right time, team investigation, digging deep, white fox, digging deep, digging deep, <laughs> probability field. So we have, oh dear, Th this, is, this will be a really bad, I think uh, Outlaw will bite the bullet here. So we have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, so Strife has an uh, attack of seven. Uh, fortunately, no overkill or anything. So we'll go to the villain phase. Now we only had one, so this doesn't affect the threat here anymore. But uh, Strife attacks, Outlaw will defend. And uh, if you have at least three cards in your hand that share a type, place three threats on the main scheme. So we are accelerating too fast here. And uh, yeah, Outlaw is defeated. This will probably be quite a short game from now on. I don't think we can uh, get rid of the living bomb in time, but we'll see. But that is that, so that is... Uh, yeah, uh, we still need to reveal an encounter card. Uh, return an upgrade or support you control to your hand. Strife activates against you. I think... Now we are pretty much dead. We don't have an upgrade, upgrade or support. These are attachments and this is an ally, so we just have to defend and hope for the best. So uh, let's one, two, three, four, five, six. Plus one is seven, plus the boost is two, so nine versus three. So we take six damage. <laughs> so we're nearly dead, but can't be helped. But yeah. Okay, well, that is that round. Let's see what we can do on the next round. Okay, well... Not much to do on this round, I think. Well, we will change the top card with White Fox. Then... Uh, 
yeah, we will play right place, right time. And this doesn't cost uh, extra, so we'll use two digging deeps here. And we are targeting the living bomb. So we reveal white fox. And we put white fox into play, and now... Uh, White Fox enters play exhausted, but we still remove all threat from here. Um, yeah, next. What do we want to do? Yeah, we'll play another right place, right time. Use the team investigation and dig in deep. So right place, right time and strength. So we remove uh, uh, five from here. Then I think hope will vote for one. And that is the thir turn done. So we ready up. We probably <laughs> will just uh, throw white box under the train, but it is what it is, so we'll draw back up to uh, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 cards, so overwatch, luck, uh, lucky break, sharpshooter, painted lady, pip the bug, sharpshooter, and probability field, so we have 1, um, 2, and 4. So Stripe has an attack of 5, we'll go to the villain phase, we add one threat to the scheme, we'll defend with White Fox, and Stripe obliterates White Fox, then uh, we get an encounter card, advance, so we probably lost the game here, so let's see, did I have a... no, I don't have any. Anyway, to stop that, so yeah, uh, one plus one. We are one away from losing. That's better than nothing, but I think the game is quite soon over, but we'll see. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, let's see. Do we have any way to do anything? Yeah, I think the game's over, but we'll play through, so we'll just place an upgrade there. It comes into play exhausted, doesn't matter. We'll change the top card, beat sharpshooter and get the sharpshooter. Okay, yeah, that, that was our last, last ditch effort to do anything. Yeah, so, mm, toward, toward, we are one away from getting that removed. And if we would have removed it, we could have used this to remove an equal amount of threat from there. So we would have, would not have lost, but nothing else to do but play it out. So I'll just place that resource. It costs two, and we'll play Pip the Park, and it costs well, we don't have even enough for that. Okay, well, yeah, that is our turn. I'll discard my whole hand. Uh, upkeep 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Sharpshooter, Jackpot, Wolf Spain, Domino's Pistol, Posse, Diamondback, and Energy. We add one threat to the main scheme and we threat out. So, that was <laughs> Strife, not a long game at all, but. Uh, sometimes in true solo it is what it is, you might get shafted with the encounter deck uh, or something else and you just uh, lose the game quite fast. But we at least got to phase 2, so I managed to uh, show everything what's going on in this scenario uh, from now on. The only thing we would have needed to do was to get rid of this. Then. Uh, Keep this 
from not advancing and defeat strife. Uh, so, not not that complicated of a scenario, but of, uh, surely a uh, quite hard one, which is uh, preferred for the last scenario of the campaign box. So it shouldn't be a cakewalk. Uh, you really need to work to for the victory. But yeah, that was the last scenario in the next evolution box. Hope you guys liked this playthrough. Thanks for watching, and until next time.